Today I'm going to be reading a little bit from the BFG by Roald Dahl and I would use this in a fifth grade classroom and it's a fantasy fiction genre and I'm going to be using the questioning comprehension strategy. She saw the giant step back a pace and put the suitcase down on the pavement. He bent over and opened the suitcase. He took something out of it. It looked like a glass jar, one of those square ones with a screw top. He unscrewed the top of the jar and poured what was in it into the end of the long trumpet thing. Sophie watched trembling. She saw the giant straighten up again and she saw him poke the trumpet in through the open upstairs window of the room where the Gucci children were sleeping. She saw the giant take a deep breath and woof, he blew through the trumpet. What do you guys think he just blew into the Gucci children's bedroom? What do you think is gonna happen to them? No noise came out, but it was obvious to Sophie that whatever had been in the jar had now been blown through the trumpet into the Gucci children's bedroom. What could it be? As the giant withdrew the trumpet from the window and bent down to pick up the suitcase, he happened to turn his head and glance across the street. In the moonlight, Sophie caught a glimpse of an enormous, long, pale, wrinkly face with the most enormous ears. The nose was as sharp as a knife, and above the nose were two bright flashing eyes, and the eyes were staring straight at Sophie. If you were looking straight at a giant, what would you do? Let's see what Sophie does. There was a fierce and devilish look about them. Sophie gave a yelp and pulled back from the window. She flew across the dormitory and jumped into her bed and hid under the blanket, and there she crouched still as a mouse and tingling all over. Have you guys ever heard of the word dormitory? Let me read the sentence again and we can try and figure out what it means by using our context clues. She flew across the dormitory and jumped into her bed and hid under the blanket. If her bed is in the dormitory, what do you think a dormitory could be? Her bedroom? That's a very good idea. Dormitory is another word for bedroom. We'll have to see what Sophie does next. 